I'm going to go across first to Surya Akhi for a quick update on where exactly is Partha Chatterjee and where exactly is Arpita Mukherjee. Tell us a little more about that. Well, uh, you know, Partha Chatterjee is, uh, you know, the convoy where the ED was, uh, you know, heading towards uh, uh, the CGO complex, which is the office of the ED. Uh, they have taken a detour. They are heading towards somewhere else. As we were rightly mentioning that, you know, he has a lot of, uh, uh, you know, health issues. Maybe that, that is where uh, the first stop will be, where a medical test will be done to check whether he is... Uh, you know, in, he, is, he is fit or not. Secondly, when it comes to uh, Arpita, Arpita is still at her residence. Uh, the ED, she has been, you know, uh, taken into custody by the ED officials and uh, it will only be seen whether, you know, even uh, she'll be directly taken to the CGO complex, which is the office of the ED and a medical test being done over there or whether a medical, separate medical test will be done of her as well. Uh, back to you, Sneha. Okay, I'm coming back to you for more on that. First to Manish as well now. Manish, as far as the case is concerned, the BJP has been alleging and you also did give us an idea about the possible involvement of other sitting MLAs also who are being raided. Give us an idea about who could be possibly involved. Who is the MLA who's also been raided by the ED right now? Manish, I was wanting to know from you about the possible involvement of the other MLAs of the TNC in this. What more can you tell us? Well, Sneha, as far as the other MLAs are concerned, their questioning is still on. Uh, I just spoke to a senior officer in enforcement directorate who once again confirmed that Partha Chaitarji has been placed under arrest. But as far as Arpita Mukherjee is concerned, she is still being questioned. But what uh, the officer also said that we cannot rule out whether she won't be arrested. There is a possibility that she will be arrested by the afternoon. As far as the MLAs are concerned, the MLAs are also under scanner. There is one MLA who has been raided by the enforcement directorate. There are certain OSTs, the personal secretaries of uh, Par Chatterjee and uh, Parishi Adhikari, the current education minister. They are still being questioned at this point of time. So by afternoon, it is expected that the ED may make more arrests in the case. But as far as Par Chatterjee is concerned, uh, you know, the evidence, based on the evidence, the ED has arrested him. Uh, he will be produced before the court where the ED will be asking for 14 days custody of Mr. Par Chatterjee. That is what we are picking up from our sources within the enforcement record. Okay, that's a big story you're getting at this, Amunish, telling us that the ED is going to be asking for judicial custody, which the norm is. For 14 days, that is something. Uh, further custody, I beg your pardon. For 14 days, by the enforcement directorate for further questioning of Partha Chatterjee. And the ED has also indicated that he by far has not really cooperated during the course of the investigations. Munish? Absolutely, Sneha. Uh, he was not cooperative during the investigation. He was confronted with certain uh, statements in the case, the statements which uh, named Mr. Part Chatterjee that he played a very key role in this entire recruitment scam. He was a person who was not only aware uh, of this recruitment scam, but also he was uh, a participant in this entire corruption uh, which was happening in West Bengal. Apart from that, what ED also, ED sources have also told India today that there are statements of uh, uh, certain witnesses in the case, certain middlemen in the case who have named the uh, OSTs and the personal secretaries of Mr. Par Chatterjee. And when they were questioned, then the link between those middle, the candidates, the middlemen to the PS and OSDs of uh, uh, Mr. Par Chatterjee established. When, when Par Chatterjee was being questioned, he was not cooperative during the investigation. But the amount of evidence which the uh, ED had that at that point of time, allegedly, based on that, they have arrested Par Chatterjee, he will be produced before the court today, uh, but uh, maybe it is a high possibility and what I am learning, the sense I am getting is that not only Par Chatterjee, but at least there will be two other people who will be produced uh, along with Par Chatterjee where ED will be asking for custodial interrogation of these people and they will be asking for police custody in this case. Okay, they will be asking for further custody. Remember, there are others who have been raided as well. The OSD to Partha Chatterjee has been raided in the past when he was the education minister, his personal secretary. Chandan Mondal also a tout, apparently was in fact raided as well. 
So there are many people who could be in the dock, not just the sitting minister, but Munisha as expected. Um, there has been some recoveries by the ED, but the TMC continues to say that this is vendetta, isn't it? But they have some serious answering to do when it comes to the kind of recoveries that have been made. Well, Sneha, when uh, uh, last evening when we broke the story that 20 crore rupees has been uh, recovered from a West Bengal minister, Par Chatterjee, there was a statement by the uh, TMC claiming that this money doesn't belong to TMC, so don't drag TMC. But one has to understand that this is the person who is and who was a minister in a West Bengal government. So, of course, uh, if there is an involvement of a person from a certain government, uh, you know, the questions will be raised on the particular government. Now, as far as this entire case is concerned, there are two parts. One is the legal case, which the ED and CBI are pursuing at this point of time. But as far as, uh, uh, you know, the second angle is concerned, certainly there has to, uh, there will be a lot of politics. The Bharti Janta Party will be raising a lot of questions against uh, not only Par Chatterjee, but also West Bengal Chief Minister uh, uh, Mamta Banerjee. They have been alleging that there is a corruption in West Bengal. Now, as far as ED is concerned, what they are claiming that they are not going into the political angle. They are only following the leads in this case, leads in this investigation. And the initial lead was the statements against Parthi his role as then uh, education minister in West Bengal. Now, after those leads were worked out, they uh, prepared a chart of all, all those people who will be raided by the ED. And since yesterday morning, the raids are still underway. Um, uh, uh, it's been almost 24 hours, but raids are still being uh, conducted by the enforcement directorate. Several places linked to Par Chatterjee, uh, Parishi Adhikari, several OSTs, MLAs, some middlemen, their residences have been, uh, 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 residences and official premises have been raided. Apart from that, what ED is also doing is that when they are recording a statement of a person during the questioning, they are also raiding several fresh premises. So it is uh, it is, you can say, it is a trail which the ED is following, and uh, do, after, do, um, after following the trail, they got to know about Par Chatterjee, and that is why he has been placed under arrest. Certainly, there is going to be a lot of politics over arrest of Mr. Par Chatterjee, but ED is also saying that this 20 crore rupees belongs to uh, uh, Par Chatterjee. It is a proceeds of crime, and Arpita Mukherjee is a close aide of. Uh, 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 Par Chatterjee, and that is why this money was kept at her residence.